Hey, welcome back, everybody. I have the easiest, most delicious recipe for you today. You know, it's one of those deals um, uh, that it's hard to get dinner on the table, especially during the work week. I get it. I totally do. But if you can get up five minutes earlier, throw this all in your crock pot, come home after your long day and dinner is done and you look like a rock star, just do it just five minutes earlier. That's all it takes for this recipe. I'm going to do my crock pot mushroom chicken recipe. And I grew up with a recipe similar to this. My grandmother used to make it all the time, but she'd, you know, do it in a skillet. So I was trying to figure out how I could get those same great flavors, but make it even easier. So here's what I came up with. First of all, two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And we're going to get that right into our slow cooker. And if you really want to make clean up a breeze, try using those slow cooker liners. Those rock. Okay, so the two cans of cream of mushroom soup right in here. Love my slow cooker. It's my new BFF, for sure. Okay, now get all that soup out of there. That's the hardest part of this recipe, it really is. One cup of sour cream, and you could certainly use the light if you wanted to. I'm craving comfort food this time of year, though. One cup of milk and a splash, about a quarter cup of a dry white wine. And if you don't like to cook with wine, you could also substitute and use chicken stock. But that dry white wine gives it so much good flavor. So whisk that all together in your slow cooker. And now we're going to put the chicken in. And when chicken's on sale, I always stock up on it. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts, uh, you know, you can never have too many of those in your freezer. And so you can even put them in this recipe frozen. So if you just get up in the morning and, you know, you're thinking, oh, I've got some extra time. I'm going to throw this together. Do it. Throw them in there frozen. It's going to be cooking low and slow in this mushroom gravy all day long, and they'll cook just perfectly. So four to six boneless, skinless chicken breasts right in there with that gravy. lid on, make sure it's all covered, that chicken, and you're out the door to do your thing. Then you come home, six hours later, seven hours, even eight hours later, I throw in some whole button mushrooms. Maybe you're going to get a little, um, you know, on the wild side and throw in some baby bellow mushrooms. Let it cook another half hour while you're doing laundry, helping with the kids' homework, and check this out. It's my crock pot mushroom chicken recipe. It's one of my husband Bob's favorites. Your house is going to smell amazing. That chicken just gets fall apart tender. And those mushrooms, because we just threw them in at the last half hour, still have lots of great flavor, but they don't really wither away. You know, you can just still see those mushrooms. Get lots of that sauce, that great gravy. On top of, I'm serving it with buttered egg noodles because that's what my family likes it with, but it's also great with just mashed potatoes, which you can, by the way, pick up real deli mashed potatoes, the real deal. They're not instant right at Festival Foods. So I always say you don't have to do it all. Either boil some noodles or pick up some mashed potatoes, and there you go. It's my crock pot chicken recipe. This one is a winner. Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. And by the way, I'm always cooking. You know that. Make sure and watch Living with Amy today. If you can't get to the Caribbean, we'll take you there through some great uh, fun Caribbean-inspired recipes. I'm doing a pineapple orange dream cake, and we're doing some Caribbean shrimp with mango and a tropical salad. And on the weekends, I'm cooking too. Make sure and watch Sunday. I have another wonderful slow cooker recipe. I'm going to do beef burgundy in a slow cooker. Sounds fancy, but it's really easy. So all the recipes are on our website. And Pete and Rachel will be right back, so stay with us.